Good evening, it's Jeremy. It's Friday, May the 6th, and I want to take another look at HF beacons. In a post I did on April the 12th, I looked at receiving uh, HF beacons from the HF beacon network using RTL-SDR, and I used my outdoor uh, buddy pole antenna, and we can see that on sunspot uh, cycle 25, uh, we're picking up here with lots of activity, so that's good. And there's the um, NCDXF IARU beacon, beacon network. There are 18 stations, and I listed all the stations. And I was able to uh, use the RTL-SDR to receive those stations. What I did was basically I used the uh, 125 megahertz up converter uh, with the RTL-SDR, and I used SDR sharp, putting in the shift of minus 125 megahertz. And um, I looked at the... Um, the web page for the network and you have to synchronize it to the internet to make sure the time is accurate uh, and then you can see what stations are active there's also a nice program for PA1 ARE to tell you which stations are active so I did that and you can also print out the schedule in uh, XLS format um, I did that and I was able to receive I think it was um, Caracas Venezuela uh, YV5B now this time round, what I'm doing, there's the, uh, incidentally, there's the um, uh, home page for NCDX, uh, IARU network, and you can see here, these are the active stations, and every 10 seconds they, uh, they change. But there's a fantastic program called PROPI, stands for HF Propagation Prediction, and it's based on the ITU standard P533-14. Um, Okay, and you can use it to predict uh, when the beacons will be uh, available to you. So that's what I've done in this uh, video and post. So if we click on beacon predictions here, you get a nice interface there. Now, the thing you have to do is you've got to put in your latitude and longitude. So if I put in my latitude, it's 43.7098. Uh, north is positive, and longitude negative is west, so I'm minus 79.4013, enter. Okay, and you can choose uh, your smooth sunspot number source. I'm just using standard here. And you can choose your type of antenna and gain. And then what you can do is you can run a prediction. and it'll tell you when the best time to receive uh, those particular stations are. So you can see my location here. You can actually drag this little blue icon here to where you think you are in the map. That's another way of doing it. So down here, then you get a table of, of the predictions per band. So at 14 megahertz, you can see that around here, let's say from uh, 00, 00 uh, UTC to around 0500, uh, I got lots of sixes and fives here from, let's say, um, Madeira, uh, Argentina, Peru, and Venezuela. So those are my best stations around here. Okay, now at 18 um, megahertz, again, the same area. The other bands, uh, MUF is too, uh, it's too low, so there's no coverage on those bands. So basically, we're looking at 14.1 and 18.1. So what I did this evening is I uh, tuned in uh, with the SDR Sharp to 14.1 and around uh, 7 p.m. local time or 2300 Zulu, I was able to pull in Madeira. So I'll play you the, um, the video here. Notice I have the schedule here. see Madeira come up there. So there we go. I got the first bursts of Madeira. It came in clearly uh, right on time and on schedule. But just to recap, then you can use the program Proppy to predict when the best time to listen for the beacons is.